Yeah, here's Mike Johnson now, and he's talking about bringing an Israel funding bill and a Ukraine funding bill separately uh, for a vote. But nothing on the border and this is the uh, very same mike johnson who said we can't we can't solve other people's problems before we solve our own mm -hmm. i thought it was tied to the border i thought i thought that the the whole thing was okay fine we'll 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 do ukraine separate but we have to tie it to the border that was not the case no so evidently mike johnson is he's a kind of a sort of a separationist and i think his thinking is we don't want these things to be all lumped together as if they are the same thing not that I disagree with his logic in fact if he said all right I got I've got a I've got a Ukraine bill I've got an Israel bill I've got a border bill all three ready to go okay and we're gonna do them boom 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 one after the other that's not unreasonable because you don't want to feel because you have one position on the border you're locked into a position but on that's Ukraine. How Democrats that do is how it. Democrats work with the yeah, omnibus they type do of bill sure. so I think I think Johnson sees himself as not following the Democratic model but the effect of it is he's bringing these two foreign aid bills to the exclusion of a border bill. And this is what has people annoyed. They're like, wait a minute, you have your priorities all mixed up. Why don't we do the border bill first? Then we'll consider helping other people because let's secure our border before we secure Israel's border and Ukraine border. Right. Um, well, you know, he, 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 I saw his, his press conference and he basically said, listen, um, I, I knew that I was going to come in here and it was going to be a war. He called it a war, you know, with the, with the Democrats, I guess. And he said, so I have to be able to, to get through it and I have to be the commander and all of that. So, so I don't think he sees it quite that way. I think he sees it as, listen, I was put in a leadership position so that I could get things done, right? Not squelch things, but get things done. Unfortunately, what he doesn't realize, and most Republicans don't realize, and maybe the, the American people do, don't realize, you cannot negotiate with Democrats. It's, it's impossible because they are all or nothing. And, and they are usually very conniving. So, well, what this means is that, is that getting things done in practice is bowing to their will. Now, yes. Mike Johnson may go, well, listen, they wanted, you know, 90 and I only gave him 50. But if the net 50 is bad, then you are better off not getting things done than getting things done. So I think there's this kind of illusion that we've got to, quote, do something. Mm -hmm. You know, C.S. Lewis once said that if you're on the wrong road, progress means turning and going back where you came from.